Out of the way, Dobie. Hi, welcome back to Auto Tip Off. Enjoy today's video. Jenny said the other day, let's do something out of the norm, we aren't wealthy and it doesn't hurt to fantasize a bit. As a result, stick with us to the end of this video. Like us, you too can at least dream about owning one of these incredible luxury yachts after watching this video on the San Lorenzo 62 Steel. San Lorenzo has been creating custom motor yachts for over 60 years, all while respecting the aesthetic and demands of its customers. A five-stage customization procedure goes into each San Lorenzo. Top focus is to pay attention to customers' requirements. It enables San Lorenzo to create a project based on a blueprint of the customer's unique environment. The project specifies the number, size, and kind of cabins to be built. It also demarcates special purpose zones that are designed to meet the customer's unique entertainment, leisure, or pleasure requirements. Launched in 2021 the 62 Steel has been designed for long-term cruising. San Lorenzo's goal was to create a boat with large private areas and light, open vistas that would allow visitors to feel connected to the sea. A huge owner's apartment on the upper deck with windows overlooking the globe, a completely private patio and swimming pool, and a study were all priorities. It was also to feature an adjacent saloon that the owner could use privately to create a private residence over the whole deck. By the end of this video you'll have to admit that San Lorenzo did a fantastic job on the construction, which gives the impression of being in the lap of luxury throughout. Another need was to have a big beach club section that would befit the yacht size, with enough room and amenities to accommodate 12 guests. The 62 Steel also needed two huge garages for a 9.5 meter main tender, a service tender, and toys, all of which were to be positioned in the middle of the boat, so that launching and operations did not interfere with the beach club zone. With a wide, chined bow and straight lines that incorporate the deck windows going forward, the lines were designed to give the boat a purposeful look. The external design, construction, and general arrangements are all done in-house at San Lorenzo, and the accommodation and technical areas are spread out across five decks. A steel hull with an aluminium superstructure achieves a balance of strength, cost, and speed. This design incorporates significant technical advancements over previous generations of San Lorenzo designs. To give you an idea of the step shift she represents, the 62 steel can cruise at 16.5 knots, but can also slow down to 11 knots for long-range sailing, with fuel usage of 200 liters per hour. This is a yacht that would be at home in the Mediterranean but could also span the Atlantic or Pacific with ease. The owner's desire to employ subtle, natural colors and Jerusalem stone, as seen on his previous boat, was an essential consideration. The main saloon entry from the aft deck, the wall that divides the dining room and lounge in the saloon, and the main lobby steps all use this light, soft-grained limestone, which has been utilized on some of antiquity's finest public structures. Our tour leads us to the beach club on the lower deck's aft end. I can only describe the room as one of the most stunning places of the boat, as it grows to 117 square meters with a wide stern platform and balconies to port and starboard. This section, together with the space at the forward deck, is the masterpiece of this boat. The owner's residence on the top deck, which is also a cornerstone of the boat's design. The bedroom itself has floor-to-ceiling windows that face directly front. Two external doors lead to a private patio with a pool and sunbathing space. A longer perspective out over the front to the horizon is covered on top of it. This is a completely private space, hidden from view from the bridge deck above. The whole upper deck can be allocated for the sole usage of the owner. This deck, which is accessible via lift, has a study where the owner may work without being disturbed. It also has an additional sky lounge that can be closed off to make the full 210 square meter room a private area or utilized as the family's primary cinema area. Two double cabins and four twins are available on the main deck for guests. These spaces offer a warm and cozy atmosphere. The walls are covered in elegant textured wallpaper and wood, and there are beautiful Jerusalem stone bookcase niches with metal accents and dark gloss finished ebony workstations. We can see that velvet has been used to cover the bedheads. 
In the VIP twins, a rail has been inset into the wall panels so that the beds can slide together with ease to form a double. Stainless steel detail has been used here and elsewhere throughout the yacht, it has been treated to create a darker cloudy matte finish, creating a smooth vintage effect. The dining area and saloon on the same deck are both decorated in the same style. The dining room's focal point is a huge table made specifically for the yacht by Francesco Paschkowski Design. This table is ebony with a 100 gloss finish for a glossy, mirror-like appearance, and it can seat up to 16 people with two extra leaves. This space is light and airy, with views on both sides and light pulled in through a window from the main saloon and aft deck. It is, nevertheless, private due to a laminated layer of metallic mesh over the glass. The main deck's living spaces, including the saloon and the connected rear deck, cover a total of 90 square meters. The couches and armchairs, like those in the owner's saloon cinema room on the deck above, were all designed by Minotti. A games table to starboard was built of ebony with a metal finish in the same manner as the dining room table, and the middle field is a soft geometrically woven carpet. This was picked by the owner and his wife, and a tiny business in Florence handcrafted it in two colors of silk and wool. The walls, made of a matte gray finished wood with Jerusalem stone accents and hazy, matte finished stainless steel. The saloon connects to the outside living area and guest swimming pool via connecting doors, making it appear much lighter than it sounds. A lot of attention went into the facilities for visitors and up to 14 crew members who would be there for a long time. They have enough room for a gym, a large place for a diner, and their own galley. After all you've got to keep the crew sweet, we don't want a mutiny on our hands, I'm joking of course. The design included self-sufficiency for long-term sailing. Everything is joinormous, the generator, the water maker and just about everything else. On the bottom deck, there is plenty of space for a large freezer and refrigerator, as well as a trash cool room and compactor. All of these are for the extended periods of time that owner and guests want to spend on board. This boat was always intended to be a home away from home for the owner to enjoy, not for charter. Every year, the owner plans is to spend up to five or six months on board. This yacht's crammed with vast amount of luxury, it will feel as though you have been reborn after casting off. If you're like me guys, I'll be thinking and wondering when is it my turn, till then keep buying the lottery tickets internet friends, from Carl and me Jenny, catch up tomorrow, cheers for now.